All right, so this is a new build I just finished. Really excited to check this guy out. Uh, so it's uh, aero precision upper receiver without the forward assist. This is the new Tyrant CNC 15 inch handguard. So I'm checking that out. I like it a lot so far. I like the fact that I can leave the barrel section, the barrel nut section on here, pull these four screws and I can access the gas system. You know, I can put uh, rail sections on there. So I haven't fired this guy yet. Um, if you notice, it does also have the phase five charging handle. I did the video on a while back. So CTR stock, K2 grip. Let's see how she runs. As you can see, running good, but pretty gassy. Pretty gassy. This is a, uh, a Faxon barrel, I believe. Pretty positive. Has the uh, pre-drilled for the pin gas block system. I wasn't 100% how the gas would work, but it's running a little gassy though. All right, bolt locked back. So pretty good. We're gonna test this guy out. You know, this handguard system, it's interesting. The collar goes over the barrel nut and then it has two screws that go in channels and tighten down So it's not really like a screw in the barrel nut uh, But it seems pretty secure and there's no No wiggle handguard hasn't moved at all. So I'm digging it. I uh, We'll see how it works from here on out. Thanks for watching All right, so I just put 90 rounds through this handguard unfortunately a gap is right here. This section's still pretty tight, but look at this. See that? These four screws work themselves loose. I got them about as tight as I could. I got this as tight as I could without hurting anything, because the problem is these are steel screws in the aluminum. So the chance of stripping this out is pretty significant. Um, I don't know, man, I like Tyrant CNC. I use one of their base plates on my 26 carry mag, which matches, you know. I was really excited for this rifle, but uh, these are some pretty serious issues. I mean, that, that right there, that's a big problem. The fact that this jumped forward too, I don't know if the camera can get in here. You see that jump right there? This was perfectly mated up. Now, these corners were perfectly patterned together, and if you see, they're still pretty close, and Trying to rotate it, I can't get it to rotate. It's pretty hot again, you know, 90 rounds. It's nothing crazy, just three magazines. And this guy's crazy loose. So I'm gonna go home. I did not lock tight these screws. They didn't say to do so. And they were really tight in the aluminum. Um, so when I get home, I'm gonna lock tight these. I'm gonna take this off, try and get it a little tighter maybe leave it where it's at honestly i mean it's not i don't like having that gap there but i can't get it to shift at all so but yeah just based upon my initial impressions i would not buy one of these tyrant cnc handguards i would say they're not worth it they're pretty expensive you know it's a 250 dollars handguard so personally i would not i would not spend the money on it um i hate to say that because i like tyrant you know they're good guys but yeah, that upsets me right there. So I'll tighten her back down and see what happens. Thank you for watching.